Hi, Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising sign. Thank you so much for joining, and I hope that you are well. I thought that I would do a uh, specific spread uh, for the upcoming Mercury retrograde, and the retrograde is um, going to occur on April 9th, and it will last until May 3rd, and uh, yeah, thought that maybe the cards might uh, give us some insight on how to navigate. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Devil, Major Arcana, and we have the Five of Pentacles. So it's a right off the bat an interesting spread just um, with this beam of brightness and of light and of happiness with the Ace of Cups, which is this overflowing emotional energy, positive energy, happiness, um, the chance to meet someone that's going to uh, be important to you emotionally, that's going to bring some happiness in your life through this emotional uh, connection. And whether it's uh, intimate or your relationship potential or whether it's a close friend or close bond, you know, this is true uh, connection and again, gifts or blessings from the universe with aces and so it's this chance for happiness. It's such a beautiful, lovely card that everything is going to work out. You're going to be happy, good health good relationships, um, happy with your situation. And you can see the little, looks like a white dove here and, and just the, the rays of light, of bringing the illumination and the, the light of happiness within to your, um, within to your life. So along here with this very positive, loving, emotional energy, we have the devil. And the devil, uh, the devil represents the actions, the beliefs, the things that we do that hold us back, that really keep us from growing, that keep us from uh, reaching our highest potential, or perhaps living uh, uh, a little more peacefully or with serenity. You know, the devil can pop up in many different ways uh, from to many different people of what, what, whether it's materialism, excessive materialism, whether it is uh, obsessiveness with, with someone or things in your life, uh, whether it's uh, anger, playing around on your partner, being flirtatious or you know getting yourself into trouble, substances or things like that. So there's a whole big pot full of ways that we can self-destruct in many ways. And so, you know, whether the devil brings into, um, into your life a sense of uh, uh, imbalance when it comes to money or your relationships, it's not there. It's not exactly helping. The devil is, uh, again, I always think of it as the, the devil on your shoulder whispering in your ear to, you know, have another drink. That's okay, just one more, just one more. Enjoy the night, you know, feel free. And it's, maybe it's against your better judgment to do so, but the devil's talking, trying to talk you into it. So the devil is always an interesting card because we can, we can find ways to, uh, to limit the devil. We can find ways to try to um, work away from these things that we do that don't lead us down to the path of, you know, where we want to head to. So with the devil, and, and here he, he's a handsome devil, this one. <laughs> so, you know, whatever it may be, you know, we all know, I think, what our devils are. And we know what uh, gets in our way. And so it is always a challenge to have to um, to move away from it, to step out of it, to take some measures to improve and to uh, yeah, reduce the impact of the devil on our lives. 
And so with the devil next to the five of pentacles, the five of pentacles is always an interesting card. And uh, with this card, you see this hooded figure holding their hands out. Looks like they're outside of a church. And it's a sense of being left, feeling left outside, lack of support, of uh, perhaps not feeling healthy, not feeling positive. This is a card of, uh, some may say, poverty consciousness. Some may say it could be feeling stressed and that that can lead to illness, but it's certainly a sense of lacking. Of, there's a sense that you are not getting the support that you need or that you are struggling. You're having a hard time. And so with the Five of Pentacles here, you're right outside of a place that theoretically could help you if you simply turned around and looked for the support. It's not that easy, though, when you are struggling and your head is trying to wrap around to survive the next day, that sometimes you don't see things. So when, uh, you know, when you have the devil here and this five of pentacles and so it could be this sense that um, you feel that forces are against you you feel that you're not catching the breaks or the the good luck that others may have and it may really bother you and so uh, you know that that also doesn't get you out of that vibrational energy so with the Five of Pentacles, I think it's always important to think about that um, while struggling or facing hardship, whether it's financial, whether it's health, whether it's relationship-wise, uh, or feeling that you are not getting what you need, um, I think that it's important to uh, try, try to you know, look at your situation objectively what can you do a small step to improve the day to improve the moment and so when you see the ace of pentacles here i'm sorry the ace of cups <laughs> it's hope and it brings hope to the reading which is when you're able to work and to minimize the impact of the devil within your life when you are able to knock on that window to get support for helping if you need help if you're struggling or maybe thinking about how you approach things uh, that the ace of cups is accessible to you that you have the chance and the opportunity to bring in a loving fulfilling content experience that is uh, rewarding and that is very enriching and emotionally deep and whether this is with a partner that you have now or someone who is on the horizon or, or that you haven't met yet, there stands a hope and the potential for this amazing uh, experience. And yet we still have these little things that tweak us and that may uh, send us in a different direction, which is away from having the hope that these emotional connections can be made. So, you know, I think it's a I think it's a really interesting spread. I always say that, but I really I really believe that that it's this uh, contrast of, of themes of what we see with this ace of cups and these two two cards. So number wise, let's see what we have. We have 15, 20, 21, and that's another three. Three is about communication Three is about expression, creativity, group activities. And to close the reading, let's get a little more information. I'll choose an oracle card. Traveling lightly, simplify your life. I really love that idea of simplifying your life. Traveling lightly. You know, let go of some of the burdens that you may be carrying. Let go of the clutter, the physical clutter and the mind clutter. Let go of the people that don't serve you within your life, the people who do not treat you with the respect that you deserve, or uh, if they're 
unable to give you joy, then reduce the amount of time that they, that they take up within your life. And so to simplify your life, it's to simplify it on all fronts. And it's a powerful message because when you are stripping away a lot of the things that are uh, extra, then you can get to the core of what's important, which is to work on self, to work on relationships, to work on legacy, of leaving a legacy behind. How are you going to leave the world a better place? And to travel lightly is to, uh, I think, it reduces and it makes you mindful of what really is important in life. So I hope you found something helpful with this reading today. And if you did, please subscribe.